Yes, yes, it is going down because uh, tomorrow is the big day. You know we had to get him up in the building before it dropped. Yeah. My brother. You know what it is. Literally. Game. <laughs> what up? It's going down, man. I'm chilling, man. Ski. Jesus peace. Yeah, holding it down, man. We, we going live tomorrow, man. That's crazy. How's it feel to, uh, to, to be five <clears throat> albums deep, right? Yeah, you know what? It feel like um it feel like one big album, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel man. like I feel like each album right? is a is a track, you know what I'm saying? Man. So I'm I got about five tracks. I need about five more albums, then we'll have a complete full album. Okay, so th- so there's gonna be more coming. That was one of the questions everybody was asking me when I told yeah. them you were coming up here. People were worried you're gonna be done after this one. Nah, you know what? Jesus piece just uh sorta of like, man, just kicks re just kick started like, you know, a whole new breath for me, man. So I'm just, uh, I'm chilling, man. I'm loving music right yeah, now. Man. And I feel like, you know, when you do a project, people may not know, but you sit in the studio for like years and you <clears> record <throat> like a thousand records yeah. per project. Like, I'm still mad at you when we were doing The Doctor's Advocate. <laughs> you left certain records off that project that I thought were yeah. like some of the most incredible records ever. I feel like a lot of people kind of rush through projects nowadays. And, you know, yours have always been so consistent because you have so much stuff to draw from. How, how do you feel like, you know, about where people are making music? Do you think there's like, because of the internet and mixtapes, there's, there's so much stuff coming up. Do you think people need to slow down a little bit? bit and kind of do some quality control yeah um that's what i yeah that's basically what i was just saying man mm-hmm. i think that uh um the reason that we seeing like a lack in album sales is just because you know people you can't sell them bullshit yeah. you know what i'm saying so if we just just take a step back for a minute in our own careers i mean every artist individually man and really just you know get back to just putting real shit you know and just yeah. incorporate it don't all have to be you know yep. conscious or real or about you know your life but um you know you can have those songs on your album that are just real so yeah. fans can get to know you you know what yeah, i'm saying man. back in the day you know you felt like you knew nas he told you everything that was going on Absolutely. you know you knew um nwa you knew ice cube you know what i'm saying like um you knew D- dmx who he was yeah. where he came from that he loved dogs and you know what i'm saying <laughs> like new artists like i don't know much about them other than their names and that's yeah. not to knock nobody i love everything you know all the new artists and everything that I'm hearing, but after I get out of the club or after I turn off the radio, then, you know, yeah. I have to go somewhere else because I don't really, you know, I really yeah. don't know if I can relate to that artist. And I feel like a lot of fans um, feel like that. So That's real. I just got to get back to the realness, yeah. man. Absolutely. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now, yeah. um, 50, you know, it was quiet for a second. <laughs> I saw, yeah. I already saw, you know, you, you talked about this a couple of times. So he puts out a new record that, you know, a lot of people were kind of saying sounded dated and... He disses you on it. I thought all that was like, you know and he what? never dissed you. He, no, he never nah. like officially put out a record dissing you. Nah, why? Why now? You know what I feel like? I'm gonna tell you what, what I feel like happened, and mm-hmm. I don't know the story, but it sound old. You know what I'm saying? Because the new Fifty don't even rap like that, and um, um, it he dissed me and Buck, but I, I heard it and I thought it was pretty funny, man. I like I'm so far removed from that beef with him, <laughs> man, that I had to just pretty much laugh at it. Um. You know, I'm a big fan of Eminem, so I like what he did. Um, Adam is my dude, you know, and, um, you know, I got, um, you like, I had, I cleared. So you're I, not going to be going after Maroon 5? No, no, no. I, <laughs> I, I helped clear that record for 50. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Me and Adam got the same management. Okay. So, you know, I had to, um, people had to come see me and, you know, play the record. That's so I heard it. it. I heard me get this before. So it's like the opposite it. of how it used to be. It used to be, you know, you were still technically signed under, you know, paper 50 right. had some paperwork and stuff and they'd have to clear now, yeah, which is now the other way and, around, and right? The thing about that, man, is that um, I was some, um, you know, people always say, well, game still owe 50 money. He, that's not true, man. I was signed to G Unit for uh, the documentary yeah. only. And um, after that album came out, 50, I mean, he, you know, he made his money off the documentary as he should have because he played a big, you know, instrumental role mm-hmm. in, the, in his success. But uh, from, uh, you know, from the doctor's advocate on, it been all me, man. And, um, you know, and just uh, in the scope and just grinding, uh, you know, with Geffen. And I got a good, re- you know, good rapport, good relationship with that building. And uh, I love my record label. So at the end of the day, man, it's just, it is what it is, man. I think, uh, you know, uh, 50, like, it's 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 really an old situation yeah. that needs to just be hashed. I seen, you know, him and uh, French Montana going at it about a week ago, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying, on Twitter. And, and French was, you know, making fun of him and doing, you know, the same things that I was doing. But, <laughs> man, it, you know, at the end of the day, beef is, is healthy for the game, man. I yeah. love it. You know what I'm saying? It keeps, yeah. me, it keeps me laughing at the crib. Man. You know, I remember I used to just send you messages when somebody new would diss you. And yeah. you'd love it because it'd give you something new to write about. It was about. just like, cool, <laughs> man. I was the guy that everybody wanted to go at. And, and you know, with the help of, you know, my, the mighty yeah. DJ Ski, man, we, we, put them, we put them to bed that one by one, man. But um, Stop Snitching, Stop Lying is um, one of the legendary, 
Harry <laughs> Disc DVDs all of those all time, and mixtapes. Dude, there was so much into it. What do you think the highlight? Like, what was your your favorite point of of that beef? What do you think? You know, the the funniest thing that when, you did or the most when, impactful um, thing? When we recorded three hundred bars, man. Right. People, you know. If we, I wish we had like seven oh Ds God. and five Ds when yeah. we did that, because that footage, you know what I'm saying, would have been just legendary. I'm hearing Cash Money. I'm hearing Rick Ross is offering you, you know stuff. What, I'm hearing man. Interscope is back. I sat down. Her G unit sent out an offer sheet. <laughs> yeah, they, they, if they, they should. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Fifty owed me a lot of money too. Man. Wearing all the fucked up clothes. Gangland man. records. Yeah, I was wearing the <laughs> fucked up clothes for free, man. You know what I'm saying. Hey, but nah, man, Gangland Records, nah, he can't, i fuck him up, man. <laughs> yeah, speaking of that real quick, too, it's, you guys actually, people might not realize, you guys actually go back a little bit, too, right? Yeah, me and Sean, man, I, I was supporting Sean early, man, because, you know, his story was unfortunate that, um, you know, that happened to him. He had to do a whole 10 for, you know, shooting in the air. Um, But, um, yeah, man, um, we was cool all the way up until, um, you know, he talked shit about Kendrick, like, mm-hmm. that was my dude, and so I felt like... You know, um, if anybody should address it, it's me because you know I, this is you know this is my coast, man, and yeah. I'm king out here. So I gotta I gotta hold it down, man. So it wasn't nothing but that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, what, do you, what do you think happened to, to Shine? Because like you said, you were one of those early people that even on our mixtapes, like you were shouting him out when nobody you got was. Got a dick stuck in his stone. <laughs> That's what happened, man. How do you go backwards with rapping skill, though? Like- you know what? Nah, it's, I'm telling you, you do 10 years in the jail, you be somebody's bitch, and, like, you, you be sucking so much dick, you know, forcefully that you your shit sounds like this when you come out. Yo, you're the best at not just game. shine. Yo, what up, game? He's, yo, what up, ski a shampoo? I'm yeah. out in Paris with the fairies. He, yeah, he, he don't want to see me because I'm on TV. Yeah. Shampoo, you, the boy don't shut up, nigga. Like, come on, man. You All know. right, one thing I, I think you know your true fans have noticed over the whole life. Ski, cause Shine want to talk. He want to say what he want to say. That nigga's a clown. Man. Actually, you know, let's talk about the recording process for this album. How many tracks did you did you have to pull from this um, time around? I end up just recording about twenty songs, man. And um, straight like um, it took me two months to you know from this when, when I changed it to Jesus piece to finish it. Mm-hmm. And uh, me and Stat, we just grinded, man. We was in there every night, Cool and Dre, just yeah. getting it in, man. And um, it felt like, for the first time in my career, mm-hmm. um, you know, it, again, it felt like those days when I recorded the documentary and yeah. the Dr. Zavik, because I had, like, a real team in there, like, with producers and, yeah. sh- like, you know, uh, uh, musicians that play real instruments and mm-hmm. would come through and had choirs in and out of there just because of the theme, man, and to be, you know, have Kanye come in yeah. and Ross come in and 2 Chains come in and Meek Mill and J. Cole and just a couple Big Sean and Fab and Scarface and Kendrick, man, Jeremiah, Trey Song. How do you even remember everybody? <laughs> Chris Brown, man, uh, Jameson, like, it, it's wow. a lot of dope artists. Oh, and then Kevin Hart came in yeah. and, like, did his thing, man. Oh, Jamie yeah. Foxx, like, the album's stupid, man. That's crazy. I was looking at your albums almost like you put them together a lot differently than other artists other artists might only have a few tracks and you know one or two features yours is like how do i describe it like uh you know batman or something yeah. like it's the blockbuster <laughs> movie it's not little it's, you know it's epic it's like 20 tracks yeah. featuring everybody you like, know what i've always tried to do ski i yeah. i've always i'm a fan of hip-hop yeah. so when people say man he got a lot of features on his album that's because mm-hmm. these are artists that i would like to work with before the end of my career i'm on my fifth album i don't know how much longer i'm gonna be putting out albums uh hopefully you know until i got 20 yeah. albums but if not just let me get in and record with artists yeah. that i want to work with so j cole i was a fan of j cole so I brought him in at the last minute, and we did a song called Pray. Two Chains, he's popping. That's a friend of mine from when he was called Titty Boy a long time ago from Disturbing the Peace. So we got it in. You know, my relationship with Ross is like brotherhood. And so, you know, he's just artists that I appreciate that I think fans would appreciate that are popping now. And some are just good friends. And so I, I, I record the album like that. And um, But no, none of the features are out of place. Like, everybody yeah. is, like, I got Absolutely. French Montana on the album, but he only says one word. <laughs> so it's like, you know, when people say, oh, you got a lot of features, they're yeah. in the right place. Like, yeah. I need certain people to do certain things. I got a song with Jamie Foxx, but he's just singing background. Like, he's not even, you know what I'm saying? So Like a blockbuster motion yeah, picture, man. man. It, is, it really is, man. So it's going to be a really dope album, man. I can't wait for everybody to go out there and get it. Tomorrow, everybody that pre-ordered it, man, it's just, you know, one love. Yeah. That's what we got to do, game. Appreciate it. Jesus Peace, yeah. tomorrow. Hey, yo, so let me go out with that, man. Let me go out rocking the Jesus Peace featuring Kanye and Common Sense. Absolutely. It's going down. Hip Hop Nation game by the album tomorrow. Appreciate you rocking with us. It's Hip Hop Nation. It's all love.